If you have the Discover It credit card, then grab your smartphone and log into the app because today we are going to walk through every menu of the Discover It application to show you how to maximize the rewards that you're earning and of course use this product to build your credit score as fast as possible. All right, let's jump right into it. What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So if you currently have the Discover It credit card, definitely go ahead and download the app so that you can follow along with me in today's video. But if you'd like to see a full review and sign up for this product, then I will leave links for that down below the like button. All right, let's get started with this demo. All right, so we are going to go ahead and launch the Discover It app. And you can see that in my case, I have Face ID set up. So logging in is super easy. But if you don't have Face ID, you can just type in your four digit pin to get into the app. So once we get in, we're gonna be brought to the activity Activities page, which is the first tab all the way in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And we're going to go through each of these tabs in today's video. So at the top of this activity screen in the top left hand corner, we have the bell icon, which is just our notifications, which we'll talk about in a second. In the top right hand corner, we have the logout button. In the middle of the screen, we have the current balance, which is $0 as it should be. And we have the available credit, which in my case is $6,500. And you can see that I have the total $6,500 currently available because I haven't spent anything on this card recently. I did recently make a video on how to get a huge credit limit increase specifically with the Discover 8 credit card, so definitely check that out if you're curious about that topic. Scrolling down from there, we have our recent activity, and I will just point out in general that I personally have more premium credit card products now that I use more regularly, so because of that, I no longer really use the Discover 8 credit card, which is why you're not really seeing any recent activity, and obviously that's why there is no balance on this card, although if there was, I would personally pay it off, as you probably should as well. So if we click view more activity you can click the drop down menu and you can select any different time period you can see this is just month by month and basically this is just going to show you your statement for that particular month down below that we have the view spend analyzer button and this is a new feature that I absolutely love that has been around for a while but it was added after I first got this credit card several years ago but this does exactly what it says it does it's going to break down your spending into automated categories to show you where you might be able to cut back a little bit and save yourself some cash you can filter by your spending activity, by different spending categories, by time periods, all at the top of the screen there. And then it's gonna make you this pie chart that again is going to show you an easy to understand breakdown of your spending habits, which again, in my case is $0, so I apologize for that. But if you have spending on this credit card, which if you regularly use it, then you would, then that's where all those transactions are gonna show up. All right, back out on the activities tab, if you scroll down, we have the statement summary. So you can see the last statement balance, which again, in my case is $0, the minimum payment due, which you should complete completely ignore because you always want to pay off the balance in full on time every time without fail so even if you have a huge balance on this card it may tell you that you only owe 30 bucks this month but again completely ignore that they are just trying to charge you interest and fees so that they can make some money you can also click the view statements button which again is going to show you the different statements and your spending for different time periods and then down below that is one of my favorite sections which is the cashback bonus if we click the view full five percent calendar you're going to see the different categories for each of the periods. So remember that with the Discover It credit card, you get 5% cash back on certain rolling categories, and those categories change each quarter throughout the year. So if we go all the way to the left, you can see that in January to March, it was grocery stores and fitness clubs and gym memberships. And then if we scroll across, there's different things like PayPal, Amazon, Walmart, gas stations, and all kinds of good stuff. Now, one bummer is you do have to activate these categories, so you'll want to make sure that you remember to do that, but you are able to activate them in advance. So if you click the activate now button, again, it's gonna give you a breakdown of exactly what this offer is and all the terms and conditions. And if we click activate, that 5% is now ready to go. And as soon as we start spending money, in this case at gas stations and Target, we are automatically going to get 5% cash back on those purchases. And remember that these categories are capped at $1,500 in purchases each quarter, which means the maximum you can earn each quarter is $75. If you scroll down a little further, it's going to show you a breakdown of your cash back, whether that's the 1% or the 5% categories. There's a refer a friend option, which you can definitely do if you have some friends that you wanna share this card with. And then at the bottom of the screen, you have all the different benefits and you can click the explore benefits button and this is going to take you to a web page where it shows you the many benefits that the discover eight credit card gives you outside of the cashback rewards all right last thing back on the activity screen all the way at the bottom of the screen we have the card benefits and again it's just going to show you a breakdown of all of the different benefits that this product offers and then at the top of the screen here you have add authorized user so if you did want to add maybe a spouse or a child or someone who you trust to your account and add them as an authorized user then this is 
where you would go ahead and do that. All right, I know we're moving pretty quickly, but next we have the payments tab, which is probably everyone's least favorite, but this is where you're going to obviously go ahead and make those very important payments to make sure your balance is paid off and your credit score is going to the moon. So again, here it's showing us the minimum payment due, which we want to ignore because you always wanna pay off the full balance and you can click the make payment button. And in my case, you can see that there's no payment due because I do not have a balance on this card. But if I did have a balance on this card, it would simply ask you what bank account you want to pull that payment from, how much you want to pay, whether that be the full balance, the minimum payment due, or you can set a custom amount. And then you just go ahead and complete that transaction. And in my experience, that transaction is usually processed within one to two business days. You can also see your payments that are scheduled, which again is just payments that haven't cleared yet since it does take a few days. And if we click posted, you can see that it has the payments that have posted to your statement. Scrolling down to the bottom of this menu, we have the all important automatic payments option, which I highly recommend. And obviously if you set this up, this is going to automatically pay off your credit card without you having to even worry about it. You can see that you can either pay off the full balance, the minimum payment due, the minimum payment plus a fixed amount, or you can set a custom amount. But again, as I've said a million times already in this video, I would suggest that you pay off the full statement balance. So if you wanted to set this up, you would just click get started, select what bank account you want to pull that automatic payment from, and then just complete this menu to set that up properly. Below that, we have the change payment due date, which is really nice and something that I don't frequently see with other credit card companies, but this allows you to actually set when your payments are due. So in my case, I have it on the 20th of each month, but maybe you want to set that to the first day or the last day of the month, or maybe you want to set it to line up with when your other payments are due. And lastly, at the bottom of this menu, we have the manage bank accounts option, which obviously is going to allow you to add different bank accounts to pull money from. And obviously, if you click the add account button, you can input the routing and account number and information for pretty much any bank accounts and go ahead and add that account to your Discover It account. All right, so that's really it for the payments tab. Next up, we have the rewards tab, which we actually already looked at. And again, this is where you're going to have all of those cashback benefits that we just talked about. So nothing new to cover here. Under the services tab, we have the card itself. And this is where we're going to manage the different cards that we have. We can again, add or manage different authorized users. And this is also where you're going to request a credit line increase, which again, I made a whole video on that. So definitely check that out if you're interested in getting a credit line increase. From here, you're also able to create or change your pin if you were to withdraw cash with this credit card, which I wouldn't recommend because usually they charge a pretty high fee. And of course, you also have your balance transfer menu as well. So basically, this is where you're just going to manage all of the different aspects of your Discover It credit card. Again, they have a menu option where you can check out all of the different benefits that the Discover It credit card offers, but we already talked about that. So lastly, we're going to move to the more menu all the way in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And really, this is just your general settings menu where you can view and edit your profile information, set up different alerts. So maybe you want to set up an alert if you spend more than $100, for example, you want to get a notification to your phone. Well, you can set it up to do that for you. This is also where you're going to manage your different settings. So if you wanted to set up Face ID, for example, that's where you would take care of that. And then you also have your security options. So you can freeze your account, freeze your card. You can also register travel here so that your card doesn't get paused automatically. So if you know that you're going to be traveling abroad, then you can input that location in here as well as the dates so that your Discover It credit card doesn't have any issues being used internationally. And then lastly below that, we have the SSN and new account alerts. And this is a feature that I really love that actually comes for free with your Discover It credit card. And they are basically just going to monitor your social security number. And if it is used for maybe a new loan application or a new credit card, then you will get an alert, which is just something that gives you some peace of mind in case something were to be opened in your name without you knowing. Below that, we have the identity theft protection that Discover offers, and this is not free and doesn't come with the Discover It credit card. However, it is pretty affordable compared to much of the competition, and it is the identity theft service that I personally use. And again, it just gives you that peace of mind and really is some kind of insurance policy just to allow you to sleep a little bit better at night in terms of your financial health. So if you wanted to sign up for that, this is where you would do that. And then lastly, we have my favorite tab, which would be the Help Center menu. And as I've said many times before, Discover's customer service 
service is second to none and they are absolutely amazing. They have 24 seven US based customer support. And every time I have ever had to call them, they have been super helpful. They have put me in contact with the exact person that could help me. And really it only took a matter of minutes and I didn't have to spend hours trying to get to the person who I was trying to reach. So all things considered, this app is fairly simple and intuitive to learn. And I think that's another reason why the Discover It credit card is such a great beginner option. But hopefully this was helpful in showing you the different menus and how you can best use this product to earn more cash back and build your credit score as fast as possible, which hopefully will save you a lot of money in the long term. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, be sure to check out some of my favorite financial tools, many of which will give you some free cash when you sign up, which is always a good thing. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.